Hello everyone, welcome to Study Dogma. In this video, we will discuss weekly current affairs of June 4th week, that is from 23rd to 30th June 2020. Before starting, I will request if you have not yet subscribed the channel, then please, please, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get notified about upcoming sessions. So let's start today's session. Name the only Indian who has been included in top global philanthropist of 2020 according to town and country magazines top global philanthropist of 2020 list. Right answer is Nita Ambani. So Reliance Foundation chairperson Nita Ambani became the only Indian among top global philanthropists of 2020. Now recently Mukesh Ambani with a net worth of $64.5 billion became the only Asian among the world's top 10 richest people according to the Bloomberg Billionaires Index. How much amount from PM Cares allocated to buy ventilators, help migrants and develop a vaccine? Right answer is rupees 3100 crore. Now, out of rupees 3,100 crore, a sum of rupees 2,000 crore will be earmarked for the purchase of ventilators and rupees 1,000 crores will be used for case of migrant laborers, whereas rupees 100 crores will be given to support vaccine development. Who has been appointed as the new president of BMW India? Right answer is Vikram Power. Now, Rudratej Singh was the previous BMW Group India President and Chief Executive who recently passed away. And Vini Mahajan became the first woman Chief Secretary of Punjab, whereas Uday Kotak has been appointed as the President of Confederation of Indian Industry for the year 2020 21. Which bank has partnered with Afford Plan to launch co branded cashless healthcare card called Swast Card? Right answer is Yes Bank. So, Yes Bank has joined hands with Delhi based fintech startup Afford Plan to launch co branded cashless healthcare card called Swast Card to enable families plan and manage their finances for their healthcare needs. And the card will have flexible recharges from rupees 100 up to a maximum balance of rupees 1 lakh. And recently, Yuko Bank tied up with SBI Life Insurance, Oriental Life Insurance, Star Health, and Allied Insurance Company to offer various insurance products. Which day has been observed as United Nations Public Service Day 2020? Right answer is 23rd June. So, 23rd June has been observed as United Nations Public Service Day 2020. And this day is observed as a mark of respect and gratitude to people in public service, sometimes endangering their lives in countries across the world. Now, 23rd June was also been observed as International Widows Day and International Olympic Day. And 21st June has been observed as International Yoga Day with the theme Yoga for Health, Yoga for Home. Which state government has announced the Indira Rasoi Yojana? Right answer is Rajasthan. So Rajasthan government has announced the Indira Rasoi Yojana. And under this Yojana, nutritious and healthy food will be provided to the economically weaker sections of the society. Now recently, Andhra Pradesh has launched the country's first online waste exchange platform and recently Madhya Pradesh has launched a plantation drive Thank Mom and under this drive each plant had been planted on the name of each employee's mother who has been appointed as the Chief Financial Officer of Standard Chartered Bank of India. Right answer is Gaurav Maheshwari. Now recently, Nikki Kalyanda Punacha has been elected to the panel of International Tennis Federation for the World Tennis Tour from India. And recently, VN Dutt has been appointed as 
चेयरमैन एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर ऑफ नेशनल फर्टिलाइजर्स लिमिटेड वेज आवाज झा हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड बाय वर्ल्ड बैंक टू की पोजीशन ऑन क्लाइमेट चेंज डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट इन साउथ एशिया विच स्टेट गवर्नमेंट हैज एंटर्ड एन एग्रीमेंट विथ रिलायंस जियो टीवी टू एडुकेट फिफ्टी टू लैक स्टूडेंट राइट आंसर इज हरियाणा एंड दिस एग्रीमेंट विल हेल्प स्टूडेंट्स टू वॉच ऑल फोर चैनल ऑफ एडुसेट थ्रू टेलीविजन लैपटॉप डेस्कटॉप टैबलेट एंड स्मार्टफोन नाउ रिसेंटली राजस्थान हैज लॉन्च द राज कौशल पोर्टल एंड ऑनलाइन श्रमिक एम्प्लॉयमेंट एक्सचेंज थ्रू वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग एंड रिसेंटली अ डीप सबमर्जेंस रेस्क्यू व्हीकल कॉम्प्लेक्स वॉज इनोग्रेटेड इन विशाखापट्टनम आंध्र प्रदेश एंड रिसेंटली ओडिशा स्टेट कैबिनेट हैज अप्रूव्ड अ प्रोपोजल टू गिव स्टेट एंथम स्टेटस to vande utkala janani which city has launched mission zero for six words in cities suburbs to curb covid 19 cases right answer is mumbai so mission zero has been launched as part of the brihan mumbai municipal corporations rapid action plan to curb rising covid 19 cases in the suburbs and recently Hyderabad Municipal Corporation has launched Air Venti app for tracking the number of ICU beds. How much amount has been allocated by Government of India for Telangana under Jal Jeevan Mission in 2020-21? Right answer is rupees 412.19 crore. Now 680 crore for Jammu and Kashmir, 1832 crore for Bihar, and 1280 crore for Madhya Pradesh has been allocated under Jal Jeevan Mission in 2020-21 by Government of India. Who has been appointed as the president of the retail, SME, and IT operations of the Catholic Syrian Bank? Right answer is Pralay Mandal. And Dr. Harshvardhan has been named as chairman of WHO Executive Board. Indu Shekhar Chaturvedi has been appointed as Secretary Ministry of New and Renewable Energy and recently Dia Mirza's term as Goodwill Ambassador of UNEP has been extended for another 2 years Which district police is running the Vishwas Abhiyan to build rapport with the tribal residents Right answer is Palghar Sports Ministry is set to establish how many district level Khelo India centers to engage the former champions in sports training right answer is 1000 so 1000 district level Khelo India centers are to be established by sports ministry to engage the former champions in sports training which is the only G20 country that will record growth in economy in 2020 as per Moody's right answer is China so China will be the only G20 country to record growth in 2020 with a growth rate of 1% and 7.1% in 2021 as per Moody's now as per Moody's India's GDP will contract to 3.1% in 2020 and according to IMF India's GDP will contract to 4.5% for financial year 2021 which bank has recently launched a new product kbl micro mitra for msmes right answer is karnataka bank and this product will provide financial assistance up to rupees 10 lakhs to the micro manufacturing and service enterprises for working capital or for investment purposes Which country has recently launched the last satellite of its Beidou navigation satellite system that is BDS right answer is China So China has recently launched the last satellite of its Beidou navigation satellite system WWE wrestler the undertaker has recently announced his retirement Now question is what is his real name right answer is Mark Kelleway which IIT institution has developed a receiver chip dhruva 
to be used in smartphones and navigation devices to find locations and routes within the country right answer is iit bombay and recently iit mandi has developed the infusion technology for herbs in the mid himalayan which state has decided to start an antigen test for identification of covid patients right answer is uttar pradesh so uttar pradesh has decided to start an antigen test for identification of covid patients now uttar pradesh state government has also launched karmo bhumi job portal for it professionals and recently national fertilizers limited has tied up with industrial training institutes that is iti to train youths of punjab in various trades how much amount has been approved by india to the united nations relief and works agency for palestine refugees in the near east right answer is 10 million dollar vidyut vitaran company of which state has launched the nishta vidyut mitra scheme for women empowerment right answer is madhya pradesh and this scheme has been started by madhya kshetra vidyut vitaran company in madhya pradesh where women self help groups at gram panchayat level will motivate consumers to pay bills online or through the up app the municipal assembly of which country changed the name of the area containing the senkaku islands from tonoshiro to tonoshiro senkaku right answer is japan which states panchayati raj department has won first prize under the e panchayat puraskars 2020 right answer is himachal pradesh now himachal pradesh has been selected for effective implementation of the e application developed by the central government and recently gujarat is set to implement the savni scheme which stands for saurashtra narmada avtaram irrigation and under this scheme 115 dams will be provided with excess water of sarda sarovar dam from narmada river who has been appointed as the new chairman of the indian financial technology and allied services right answer is t ravi shankar which state has launched the pragyan bharti scheme right answer is assam and this scheme aims to provide financial support to the students who are facing financial difficulties during covid 19 under this scheme the students will be offered admission fees free uniforms textbooks and recently tripura has become the top state to provide employment under manrega cabinet approves declaration of kushinagar airport in which state as international airport right answer is uttar pradesh so the kushinagar airport is in uttar pradesh who has inaugurated devika and puneja bridges in udampur and doda districts jammu and kashmir right answer is dr jitendra singh so Union Minister of State for Development of Northeastern Region Dr Jitendra Singh inaugurated the Devika and Puneja bridges and recently RK Singh has launched I Commit initiative to create a robust and resilient energy system in future where is world's first yoga university named after Vivekananda has been launched right answer is los angeles and it has been named as the vivekananda yoga university that is vayu wasim jafar has been appointed as the head coach of which state's cricket team right answer is uttarakhand so wasim jafar has been appointed as the head coach of uttarakhand's cricket team which among the following ministers inaugurated the virtual india pavilion at kens film market 2020 right answer is prakash javdekar and recently nitin gadkari has launched credit guarantee scheme for subordinate debt or distressed assets funds subordinate debt for msmes to provide rupees 20000 crore guarantee cover to 2 lakh msmes adani power is set to acquire us based aes how much percent stake in odisha power 
for rupees 1019 crores that answer is 49 percent the national green tribunal has imposed an interim penalty of rupees 10 lakh on which state government over pollution in the kithi ganahalli lake right answer is karnataka who will be conferred with vita bai narayan gaukar lifetime achievement award 2018-19 by maharashtra government right answer is gulabai sangam narkar and s a kirloskar that is both a and b which state government has launched a 100 days employment scheme named mukhyamantri shramik that is shahari rozgar manjuri for kamgar yojana right answer is jharkhand and this scheme was launched to enhance the livelihood and security of urban poor thus jharkhand is the second state to launch a job guarantee scheme for the urban poor after Kerala's Ayankali Urban Employment Guarantee Scheme. Which ministry has launched Yukti 2.0 platform? Right answer is Ministry of Human Resource Development. So, Union Minister of Human Resource Development Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishank launched Yukti 2.0 portal to support the startups incubated in the institutes of higher education over the virtual platform. Indian power producer NTPC Limited has won a project management consultancy contract for the development of a 500 megawatt solar park in which country? Right answer is Republic of Mali. Now recently Exim Bank has extended 20.10 million dollar line of credit to Nicaragua and 216 million dollar line of credit to Malawi. Who is said to become the first female president of Merylbone Cricket Club in its 233 year history? Right answer is Claire Connor. So former England women's captain Claire Connor is to become the first female president of MCC. Now Australia's Claire Polosak has become first female umpire in men's ODI. India's GS Lakshmi became first female match referee appointed by ICC. And recently, Anjum Chopra was awarded with CK Naidu Lifetime Achievement Award along with KS Shrikan. The compressed biogas plant has been recently inaugurated in which district of Tamil Nadu? Right answer is Namakkal. So the compressed biogas plant has been recently inaugurated in Namakkal. The union government has approved the setting up of animal husbandry infrastructure development fund of worth how much amount? Right answer is rupees 15,000 crore. Which airport becomes first in India with aviation weather monitoring system at both ends of runway? Right answer is Kempe Gowda International Airport. So, Bengaluru's Kempe Gowda International Airport becomes first in India with aviation weather monitoring system at both ends of runway. And the Kempe Gowda International Airport has recently won this year's Skytrax Award for Best Regional Airport in India and Central Asia. Which state government has launched YSR Kapu Nestam scheme? for the welfare of women from Kapu community? Right answer is Andhra Pradesh. So Andhra Pradesh has launched YSR Kapu Nestam scheme for the welfare of women from Kapu community. And under this scheme, the government will provide rupees 15,000 per year for all the eligible women aged between 45 and 60 years for a period of five years. And for this scheme, the Andhra Pradesh state government allocated Rs. 354 crore in the first year. Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship has collaborated with which company to introduce Skills Build Reignite and the Skills Build Innovation Camp? Right answer is IBM. Which state government has launched Mukhyamantri Matru Pushti Upahar scheme? To provide nutrition kits to pregnant and lactatic women? Right answer is Tripura. 
and under this scheme pregnant women would be tested four times in nearby primary health centers and will be given a nutrition kit costing rupees 500 consisting of food items and grocery supplies who has launched mobile app e blood services in partnership with the indian red cross society for easy access to blood in this critical time of coronavirus pandemic right answer is dr harshvardhan so this app is developed by the e raktkosh team and will bring transparency in the blood donation program the government has decided to provide dash percent interest subvention to borrowers under the shishu category of pradhan mantri mudra yojana right answer is 2 percent so the government has decided to provide 2 percent interest subvention to borrowers under the shishu category of pradhan mantri mudra yojana which country has decided to join the UN Arms Trade Treaty, which is a global pact to regulate arms sales in the world? Right answer is China. Who has been included among ambassadors for the virtual Toronto International Film Festival 2020? Right answer is Priyanka Chopra and Anurag Kashyap. And recently, Vishwanathan Anand has been appointed as a new ambassador for world wildlife fund name the state which has been awarded for being the best performing small states under national tb elimination program in the year 2019 right answer is both nagaland and tripura so both nagaland and tripura has been awarded for being the best performing small states under national tb elimination program in the year 2019 which day was observed as International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking 2020 with the theme Better Knowledge for Better Care? Right answer is 26 June. And 26 June was also observed as International Day in support of victims of torture. Which state government announces Mahaparwana plan to attract fresh investments in industries? Right answer is Maharashtra. So, Maharashtra announced Mahaparvana plan which will offer several incentives and offer a single window clearance system for project execution. Which two countries will host the 2023 Women's Football World Cup? Right answer is Australia and New Zealand. So, Australia and New Zealand jointly will host the 2023 Women's Football World Cup. Under whose chairmanship? The National Green Tribunal has formed a committee to investigate Assam gas leakage. Right answer is BP Katake. And the NGT has imposed an interim penalty of rupees 25 crore on Oil India for the gas leak. And recently, Bimal Jalan appointed to head the subcommittee of the Financial Stability and Development Council for preserving financial stability. Which among the following has launched a behavior change campaign called Navigating the New Normal? Right answer is Niti Ayog. So Niti Ayog has launched a behavior change campaign called Navigating the New Normal. Which country will take over presidency of FATF from July 2020? Right answer is Germany. So Germany will take over presidency of FATF from July 2020. And recently, Pakistan has been retained again on the grey list till October 2020 for failing to prosecute and penalize terrorist financing in the country before the deadline fixed by FATF. What is India's rank in terms of money parked by its citizens and enterprises with Swiss banks at the end of 2019? Right answer is 77. So India ranks 77th in terms of money parked by its citizens and enterprises with Swiss banks at the end of 2019. And the list has been topped by the United Kingdom. Now India ranked 144 in World Happiness Index 2020, 128th in Economic Freedom Index 2020 and 84 in Global Passport Index 2020. Which country is planning to establish a permanent military base 
in the Indian Ocean by March 2021? Right answer is Iran. So Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps plan to set up a permanent base in the Indian Ocean in order to expand its presence in the international waters. NASA has announced that its headquarters will be named after whom? Right answer is Mary W. Jackson. So NASA's headquarters building will be named after its first African American female engineer Mary W. Jackson. Now recently NASA announced to name its next generation space telescope in honor of Nancy Grace Roman and recently Indian origin girl Vanisa Rupani has been honored of naming NASA's first Mars helicopter Ingenuity which is world's first country to use drone mounted ULV sprayer for locust control. Right answer is India. Which bank has partnered with UDMA Technologies to launch Yuva Pay mobile app? Right answer is Yes Bank. So Yes Bank has partnered with UDMA Technologies to launch Yuva Pay mobile app. And this digital wallet solution will help the customers with contactless payments. Which state government has launched Kill Corona campaign to screen entire population? Right answer is Madhya Pradesh. Now some other recently launched schemes of Madhya Pradesh are Didi Vehicle, Charan Paduka, Fir Aapke Dwar, Jeevan Shakti Yojana and Thanks Mom. Now Delhi government is to set up Plasma Bank at Institute of Liver and Biliary Sciences, the first plasma bank in India and Andhra Pradesh will take up the construction of 30 lakh houses under the YSR Jagannanna colonies. The Indian Railways has signed an MOU with Railtel for installation of how many IP based video surveillance systems at railway stations across the country. Right answer is 6049. So 6049 IP based video surveillance systems at railway stations across the country will be installed by Indian Railways. The central government has allocated 4125 crore rupees for rejuvenating the small, medium and tiny industries sector in which state? Right answer is Tamil Nadu. Bhutan has signed pact with which country for the construction of their first 600 megawatt hydropower joint venture Kholongchu project? Right answer is India. So Bhutan has signed pact with India for the construction of their first hydropower project. The Navi Lending app which has recently launched with provide instant loans of up to how much amount with repayment tenures of up to 36 months. Right answer is rupees 5 lakhs. Which state government has launched world's largest convalescent plasma therapy come trial project titled Platina? Right answer is Maharashtra. So Maharashtra Chief Minister Udav Thakre has launched world's largest convalescent plasma project title Platina. Who has been elected as Ireland's new Prime Minister? Right answer is Michael Martin. So Michael Martin has been elected as Ireland's new Prime Minister. And recently Lazarus Chakvera has sworn in as Malawi President. Which among the following has launched Instacash to enable merchants to gain access to working capital. Right answer is Insta Mojo. How much amount has been granted by the government of India as emergency funds to armed forces for war preparedness? Right answer is rupees 500 crore. Who has become the youngest umpire in the International Cricket Council's elite panel of umpires for the upcoming 2020-21 season? Right answer is Nitin Menon. So India's Nitin Menon has become the youngest umpire in the International Cricket Council's elite panel of umpires for the upcoming 2020-21 seasons. Which state has launched the online aid initiative at one click with rupees 1,369 crores for around 13,000 MSMEs? Right answer is Gujarat. 
and this initiative has been started with rupees 768 crore in bank accounts of 12247 msme units and rupees 601 crore aids to industrial units including textile industries in gujarat now chatisgarh to launch the others police station scheme from 1st july and recently uttar pradesh has decided to raise rupees 1500 crore from commercial banks for 340 kilometer purbanchal expressway phone pay has partnered with which bank on upi multi bank model right answer is icici bank so phone pay has partnered with icici bank on upi multi bank model world athletics has launched which online tool to track the qualification process for next year's olympic games right answer is road to tokyo fifa has approved a covid 19 relief fund of how much amount to help the global football community right answer is 1.5 billion dollar how much amount loan agreement has been signed between tamil nadu and world bank to boost affordable housing project right answer is 250 million dollar and the agreement was signed for two projects 200 million dollar for tamil nadu housing sector strengthening program and 50 million dollar for tamil nadu housing and habitat development program now 450 million dollar has been approved by world bank for national groundwater management improvement program 88 million dollar has been signed for help modernize assam's passenger ferry sector whereas 80 million dollar has been approved for himachal pradesh to improve water management practices who has been honored by the united nations for her efforts to tackle the coronavirus pandemic right answer is kk shailaja so kerala health minister kk shailaja has been honored by the united nations for her efforts to tackle covid 19 now dr arvind pande and dr akhilesh chandra kulshreshta jointly given professor pv sukhatma national award in statistics and recently former rbi governor c rangarajan has been awarded professor pc mahalonovis national award in official statistics